Hello, my friends! We have certainly have a lot of explaining to do to our friends. A lot of catching up. Yes, we should. You probably have a lot of questions on what's going on, because I doubt anyone has actually filled you in on what happened with Minfilia in the first place. <laughs> yeah, I think everybody's at a loss for a wedge. Thank her included here. Oh, he needs some time alone. Well, at least they're actually going after the crystals. <laughs> at least we didn't forget about this. Yeah, you've had like quite a, a few rough last days. Uh, with kicking ass, getting shot. Yeah, she's been stalking you for a while, bruh. Yeah, but... One question I have is, why didn't she tell us of her suspicions? Maybe because maybe she didn't know, she hadn't figured out herself what she wanted to believe, or what to believe, and didn't want to sell anyone else's opinion until she figured that out, but... Well, apparently she still trusts them at least enough to do that. Yeah, she probably just teleports. But yeah, I just can't imagine just how... I don't want to say Lord completely betrayed she feels, but considering how close she was to him before... Yeah, that, that's gotta hurt. So, let's see how hopefully Ida and Papa Limo are here. A lot has happened. Very lot has happened. Tadaru is even going to be more confused about what's going on. Okay. Well, do we have to wait for Thanker's ass? Because it's going to take him forever. Yeah, about that. <laughs> kind of a lot of stuff has happened. Yeah, maybe if we had actually contacted us sooner, you maybe would have found out some of that about this. So, yeah. Good, good. We need the team back together. Well, most of the team. Well, I don't think your really reveal with fake Griffin is, is really going to go over well with a real Griffin, because I don't think we can keep that hidden for long, so... We're gonna actually pursue this path. It's best we all do it together as a single unit. Oh, hi, dude. Um... Okay.
Uh, all right, I'm, I'm sensing something I'm not fully informed of over here. But... Well, the whole week has been a goddamn clusterfuck, so... Yeah, our, our brain is a, just a bit head full of fuck right now. Okay. All right then, Papa Limo. But for now, I think it's high time we go visit our friends. <sighs> we got lots of storytelling to do. Tatara is probably going to be pretty mad. Yustola is also probably going to be pretty mad. Betty Thankard probably won't be here, won't be back in time to see the look on their faces. Sure, he would have loved that. Now, I always wonder, do we have any sort of like secret knock or anything? Because the sign of the door does say no entry. So, so do we have a key? Anything? Maybe. Secret. Secret knock. Where is everybody? Oh, hi guys. Uh, they actually haven't walked through the door yet. <laughs> that hasn't happened yet. That won't happen until the cutscene. Me, you're by yourself. Yeah, I'm poor Whirlwind too. Right in the fields with that poor lad. Turned his life around and everything, and what did it get him? Rest in peace, man. Oh, so he called us! Hooray! Well, what about Tataru? Almost forgot her name right there. Elise, what are you doing over there sitting in the corner? If you need to sit down, there's a perfectly good cushioned chair right behind the desk. Back in the solar. It's been too long since we were all together like this. Not since. Not since after Moon Breda. Oh, eat her too soon. Too soon, man. Much has changed since then. We ourselves, most of all. Though not all who were lost could be gathered here today, we may take comfort in the knowledge that those who are not are carrying on the fight. Grupug? While I am grateful to our friends in the North for their hospitality, it is enough good to be back. Though, did you formally quit your job at the bar then? <laughs> <laughs> but, as Papalima rightly said, much has changed since we last stood here. The Scions of the Seventh Dawn are not as they once were, nor should we be. Our travels in the North brought us into contact with a host of fine and generous people, and their selfless deeds serve to show me that it is not lofty causes that should inform our actions, but our hearts. And I hope that the Scions might continue in this manner, as individuals driven by individual principles. Provided we all sincerely desire to work towards Eorzea's salvation, I believe the paths we follow to achieve it need not, and should not, be dictated by any single ideal. No, 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 I disagree there. Ideal, go out and make friends. Okay. We gotta have something holding us together. Companions bound by a common purpose. Free to go whither they will. The idea is not without merit. What do you mean it's not without merit? That's what all you've been fucking doing this entire expansion. Like, I'm, I'm glad we're actually openly discussing this at this point, but I'm sorry, Yashola, where the hell were you with the Steps of Faith? Both of them? I'm sorry? 
Same for you, Thancred. Okay, you can get him by partially by by following the Warriors of Darkness. Everybody else? Uh, hi. Yeah, ended a thousand year war without your fucking help. Even though you guys were totally hanging around. Little salty about this, by the way. You guys were already coming and going just as you goddamn pleased. Very well. I shall resume my research of the Primals and the Elder Gods of Eorzea. Should anyone have need of my findings, you need only ask. How about we have a monthly meeting set up? I should be glad of your continued assistance. You know, combine our information, maybe see some that collaborates and we can help figure out things together. Family, family meeting, well, first Wednesday of every month. My main purpose in coming here was to see the signs of the seventh dawn restored and my dear friend found. Nevertheless, having involved myself in your struggles, I feel compelled to see them through to the bitter end. For Minfilia's sake. That is, if oh, there sorry. are no objections. Did not mean to cut you off there, Kryle, sorry. You will always be welcome here, Kryle. Uriangere, can we trust you to carry on your investigation of the Assians as before? Take those crabby goggles off, you look way better without them. Regardless of mine own desires, I am undeserving of your trust, having so villainously deceived you all. Now, now, I'll hear no more of that. It would be disrespectful of Minfilia's wishes. She entrusted matters here to us. That we might protect this star and understand the truth which hides at her heart. Mayhap I can handle the former, but I think you far better suited to the latter. No? Yeah, can we take a vote on this? Can I at least make him sit in the corner for ten minutes and think about what he's done? At least? Very well. Then out of love for my lady Minfilia and Moonbreeder both, this shall be my solemn Look, charge. Now that I think he's gone so far off the rocker, but... Ten minutes in the corner, Uriange. I... Papalimo and I should probably return to Thandalan to keep an eye on the Resistance. There's still the matter of the Griffin and the Amalja. Not to mention the new Imperial Viceroy. That little lot must be worthy of our attention, right? And what will you do, Alizé? Get over here, girl! Why are you just so far away from everybody else? Do we stink or something? You no, know I have no great love for organizations and formalities. That being said, this new approach you propose is not wholly objectionable. And we've always got her to keep us from bickering. You, you guys haven't actually fought since you've been back. But I will suffer no titles. I am not here for House Leveilleux, nor to walk in Grandfather's shadow. Upon that point, we see eye to eye. If it please you, you may think of me as but another comrade in arms. Well then, Alfie, I for my part shall see to the paperwork and the finances with my characteristic aplomb. I would not have it any other way, Tataru. And we mustn't forget you. What now for the Warrior of Light? Well, you know what they all say. Don't quit your day job. Totally on blow with this slaying Primal's crap. It's getting a little old, but... I'm the only expert you got, so... Let's be poetic. Can we have a group hug now? Indeed. The path behind us was fraught with hardship, and the path before us will be no less unforgiving. But a new dawn shall break over the realm, and I see before me the faces of those who will deliver it. So one thing I really find kind of sad is that no one addresses the fact that 
Minfilia and Kryl haven't seen or spoken to one another since 2.0 in that one single in the background phone call. Minfilia's been missing ever since Kryl's been here, and now Minfilia is gone possibly forever. Like, they're besties, that's kind of really sad. Like, like for serious, they were brought together by by the gift they both share of their connection to, you know, the Echo and Heidelin and whatever, and they're ultimately torn apart by their obligation to it. And, like, somebody give her a hug or something. Where's Papa Limo? Okay, Kryl. You have the dirt on Short Man over here, so yeah. Yeah, I would totally love a piece of that. Yeah, you guys do that. I, I miss your competitions with each other. Well, you didn't speak up, Pavelimo. Okay, yeah, you speak too poetic-y for me. I didn't get a word of that. So, so, so did they ever actually find who was smuggling those crystals out or was Alphano actually bluffing during there? I honestly don't know. Not, not, not that such a detail actually really matters in the case of the narrati narrative, but uh, I'm just really curious. Yeah, we'll stay out of your little, uh, love triangle for now. So, I love- I love this from- from Tataru. Okay, right here. Right here. Come on. Besties for life. Alright? Make it happen. Tataru made her a new outfit, and now she's worried about making sure she's reintroduced to everybody. Notice how Tataru doesn't give apparently a shit that Eden and Papa Limo are back. Can we have a group hug? Please, somebody, anybody! See, look at this, and they're going off together. I'm telling you guys, besties for life over there. I will be so disappointed if the game doesn't make anything out of that. One world's heroes are another world's villains. One world's loss, another world's gain. Where men go as one, there is life. And where there is life... My friends, if I may, I would ask that you entrust Tupsiamati to me. Excuse me? I-I'm sorry, what? Um... Clouds gather upon the horizon, and as Master Louisois' disciple, I would keep it close at hand. Okay, considering you went so long without telling me where the hell you were, are you really in a position to ask me any favors right now? But, but I suppose you have a point. Thank you. I shall guard it well. I mean, you are kind of the oldest among us, so... 
I suppose if we're gonna give it to anybody, it might as well be you. Just don't lose it, don't break it, okay? We've had enough of that thing getting stolen and taken there and... There is cause to hope. Sucked into the mother crystal. For every ending, every parting, marks a new beginning. So is this the real Griffin, or does he have multiple fakes? Why am I not surprised to see you? What the serious fuck? Really? Really? We're gonna bring this bag this soon? Aw, oh, game. No, if you were gonna play that as a trump card anyway, you, you should have waited and sat on it for a little bit longer. I hope Nidhogg devours your soul, you bastards. Uh, hi, Nero. They really should have voice acted that scene. I, you had the scene, something like that doesn't play out well without any evil, actual audible laugh. But. A lot of people took issue at the end of 3.3 when we throw Nidhogg's eyes off the same side of the bridge. Being like, oh my god, you idiots, why did you not separate them? Well, I'm actually going to defend that scene for several reasons. One of which is, there's honestly, there's no time. We have no way of knowing that Nidhogg is not going to come back again, or the eyes aren't going to fuck with us, or possess us again, or something. So we have to be rid of them just, just as quickly as possible, okay? So, call it heat of the moment. Number two, the idea is to take them beyond the reach of mortal hands. And it does. The problem is, well, the Asians, and as we learned, the Warriors of Darkness, aren't mortal. Thus, those rules do not apply, and there's pretty much outside of eating them, no place we could actually take them that they could eventually just not get anyway. So, the fact that they acquired them after we, th after we threw them into the abyss, 
really doesn't matter that we both threw them off the same size because obviously they wanted them and they got them. They would have found a way no matter where we threw them. The only problem I have with the game is, honestly, I think it was too soon for them to bring it back. I think they should have, not necessarily too long, because if you haven't figured it out where Nero is, is Cartano, where Omega is buried. And while he hasn't been completely excavated, dug out, whatever the hell you want to call it, they, they've been sitting on that for quite a while. So like something like that. Okay, what the heck. The fact that Oriange was consorting with the Asians, which w with, well, Elidibus at least, was seen at the very end, before even Heaven's Word started. They sat on that one a little bit too long. And oh, that is so sweet of you, Alphanel. But... Bringing back the eyes like this after only one patch, to me, I, I feel is a bit too soon. I think they should have waited another patch to just bring it back. Like, 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 lure us into a sense that yes, they're gone for good, and not fully kind of vindicate, to, to, to let's be fair here, the people's concern that throwing them both off the side of the cliff was a stupid idea. Again, I think it was, I think it was a very good idea, but there was just some minor issues with it, and well, I think the fandom itself gets the issues wrong. Yeah. And the next thing you know, he was crying. Well, she kind of already knew. Aww. Where is Higiri? She should come. Thank her, thank her. Do you have a new friend? I actually completely forgot about this, and I'm not sure if he appears in any earlier scenes in the Rising Stones since Thinker has been back. But yeah, this little nutkin is, is kind of his new friend now and is, is kind of going to be following him a bit. Again, I don't know if he shows up before this. I honestly have not thought to look because I completely forgot about it until now. Like, I remember, I sort of remembered a few, a few weeks ago, but since I'm recording so many episodes in quick succession and so many things I have to cover and so many things to whine and bitch about and whatever, like, eventually you start losing track of things. I know, you need an old man friend here too. You need to get him to stop doing that, okay? He's a little too old to be doing this crap anymore. He keeps getting himself hurt. Stop him. Alien's probably having a fit. Uh, what? Aww, we're getting invited out. Well, they're getting invited out to dinner. That is so sweet. But I hope if I got fed every once in a while, but. So, unfortunately, because obviously we're another patch in, and this is the, the trigger for the next patch, I can't get Tataru's dialogue, but Tataru actually spouts a line about Alize being a little shy, but she'll get her acquainted with everybody, which I think is sweet. I'm telling you guys right there, fear's your besties for life, and I will not have it any other way that is headcanon until proven otherwise. I just think, I think, I think it's utterly adorable. Just, just utterly adorable. Again, she doesn't give a shit. To, she doesn't have a single line of dialogue with Eden and Papa Weibo. Like, as disappointed as I am with that, like, she should have been worried sick about all of that. Like, she no new outfits for them. No, oh my god, I miss you guys so much. Nope, none, none of that. None of that at all. But I find it utterly hilarious at the, at the same time. That's <laughs> just, it's just completely fucking glossed over. That was like, nope, found a new friend. Stick away there. Screw you guys. She's probably she's probably mad at them for for staying away so damn long. I mean, she, I mean, partly in ten minutes she's gonna go over there and just jump and be like, "Oh my god, I guys, I missed you so much." But <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm just having fun in my own little thoughts over here. So thank you for watching, my friends, and we shall see what awaits us in the next and the final patch. 
of Heaven's Ward. Hopefully, we'll make some more friends.